So how do we go from bare rock like this, brand, brand new bare rock, to trees? That's a process called primary succession. And it takes a whole long time. Now, so starting with bare rock, the first organism that colonizes that is called lichen. This is lichen here. It attaches to the rock and it produces this acid that actually um, starts to break down the rock and produce soil. So it actually improves the conditions for the next species to, to arrive. And that next species is moss. So the moss that you can see down here, again, moss, uh, uh, moss is a non-vascular plant. And when it dies, it releases organic matter into the soil. So again, improves the soil for the next species. And the next species is your grasses. So once you've got quite a bit of soil in any area, then the um, grasses, grass seeds that get dispersed by the wind and by bird poo, uh, they, they can then grow in the cracks where there's soil. Uh, and, and this continues on for a number of generations, a number of uh, repetitions, and so where each time the, um, the soil quality is improved, there's more soil, to the point where you can then start to support larger plants as well, larger shrubs. And then finally, we then get our larger trees as well. And at that point, we've got what we call a climax community of the large trees and the smaller trees. Now that can take hundreds of years, maybe thousands of years, and it all starts from bare rock. So that's what we call primary succession when we start from bare rock. There's other times when maybe there's been a, a landslide or, a, or something like that, and um, the, all the, the vegetation has been killed or removed, wiped out, but you've still got the soil. So it's a that process is much quicker because it doesn't require to actually produce the soil in the first place and that's called secondary succession.